What's going on, guys? Drones and Dogs here. Welcome back to the channel. <laughs> What's going on, guys? So I am back here with this Voyage Aeronautics Mini Foldable Drone. This is a little mini drone I picked up for Walmart for 20 bucks. Bang! 20 bucks. Bang! And uh, I did a couple flights with it. Uh, did an outdoor flight with it. I did a night flight with it. This is going to be my first indoor flight with it. My first indo. First indo with it. Yeah, man. So, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, for what this thing is, guys, this thing is actually pretty good. Um, now, I know uh, a lot of our more experienced flyers doesn't like the fact that it has altitude hold with the spring load throttle stick. But, but I got to think in for, you know, a lot of... And beginners at mine, this this drone is more aimed at for, for beginners, you know what I'm saying? And uh, a lot of them are, are uh, more experienced pilots. We probably wouldn't be picking nothing up like this unless you unless you like me and my boy Freak. We like to fly these little these little toy gray jokers. Me and my boy FF, we like these little mini jokers. So we prefer them without altitude hold. But like I said, I'm just keeping uh, what they're aiming this quadcopter for is $20.00. You can pick this guy up in Walmart, you know what I'm saying? So you could just run out, pick it up. You don't have to order it and wait, you know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure you can order it online, but you could just run out to Walmart, pick one of these jokers up. At least that's what I did. I, I wasn't even at Walmart shopping for a drone. Just happened to slide through the RC section and pick this joker up. It has foldable arms, on and off switch. Uh, one other downside is that it has an embedded battery. There's a charge port right there for it, as you can see there. And you stick a little charger in there, and it would charge, and the light on the charger will go off when it's fully charged. So, I mean, you know, like I said, once again, us more experienced flyers would like to have a a, um, a pop and swap battery where we can pop it out and swap another one in there and continue to fly. We don't have to um, fly this guy and then wait to charge and to fly again. We would like to have batteries where you can just replace it and fly with a different battery. That way you get continuous flights on the fly. But once again, like I said, with beginners in mind, this is for twenty dollars. You really can't complain. Flies really good. It's very nice and stable. Has a red LED here in the rear by the on and off switch. That's the on and off power button switch right there. This is the V eight twenty eighty bow, and it has a white LED in the front. So it's very easy as far as um, orientation wise. You're gonna be able to keep your orientation very easy. And like I said, it has the altitude hold. So it's easy for beginners. This little black button here in the middle. That's your automatic takeoff and land button. You got F, B, front and back trim, L and R, left and right trim, spring loaded throttle stick, pitch and roll, on and off switch in the middle, LED indicator there. Let you know the transmitter is on. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Focus, focus, focus. Got a speed button there. Stunt button there, guys. Pretty nice little flyer. Two AAA batteries is all you need to get this guy to fly. This is the... Voyage Aeronautics V8 2080 from Walmart, guys. We're gonna fly this joke quick endo fall light. Let's get it. What Let's you wanna do, it. guys, is turn on the quadcopter. You see, you have flashing lights, all right? The lights are flashing. So then you need to turn on the transmitter, okay? Then you need to press up, down. Uh, that binds you. See, the lights went solid. You need to go up and down on that throttle stick, and that will bind you to the uh, drone or sync or connect the drone and the remote control. I get a lot of questions from beginners. They ask me, how do I connect it to the remote? That's what you do, guys. You turn on the drone first, turn on the remote, press up and down on that throttle stick, and that will connect you with the drone. All right, guys, let's do it. First flight, first flight with this Voyage Aeronautics V8-2080. All right, let's do it, man. Let's take off. Just press the takeoff button one time, and it just shot up. I just let it go up to its default height. So that's the altitude hold there. I'm not touching anything. That's the altitude hold there, guys. I'm not touching anything right there. And that's it doing all this, just hovering there. So that's pretty solid, man. So as you can see, it's a pretty good drone. It really is. It's a pretty good drone. I just lowered it a bit. So this is our first rate. This is what I would call beginner rate. Very slow and docile. Look at that there. Very nice and docile. There's our yaw on the guy. Very slow yaw. Forward flight here. This thing is very stable, guys. Forward flight. 
Mm. All right, there, let's go to the second speed by pressing the left shoulder button. This left shoulder button is your speeds. So we are in the second speed. There's our yaw right there in the second speed, you guys. As you can see, we gained a lot more pitch as we give it forward flight or forward pitch. Here is our uh, left and right aileron, side to side throws, left and right. Left to right in the second rate. So let's go up to the third speed. This is the third speed. This is our fastest flying rate. So this, this will be preferably your outdoor, your outdoor rate. So if you was outside flying this guy, you had to fight any wind, you would throw it into your third speed here. As you can see, we have a lot more pitch and angle on it. Let's do uh, left to right uh, throws, left to right aileron, right there. Check it out, that's left to right throws, side to side movement, okay? So let's check out the yaw. Yaw still relatively slow in the third rate. But it's not too bad when you get going, when you're going in forward flight. You see, there's your funnels right there. So you need a little bit of room to funnel it. But this funnel's okay. Let's check out some flips here. Front flip. I love the way this thing flips, flips nice and crisp. And it doesn't lose any altitude, guys. I'm, I'm gonna show you, it doesn't lose any altitude. It goes right back to that same altitude when this thing flips. Watch this. Let me see if I can raise it up. I'm gonna try to get my hand level to it. Raise it up. Give me a second. I'm gonna raise it up. And then I'm gonna keep my hand there and watch me flip it. Right back to the level of my hand. That's a good flip. It goes right back to the altitude, guys. Look. Ooh, hold on, let me try it one more time. Right back to the altitude, look. That's a good flipper. Right back to, does that mean it has a good barometer in there? So this is gonna be an excellent flyer for beginners. So we're in the third rate. I'm gonna go back to the second rate. I like that better for indoor flying. That third rate is kind of zippy, which I would preferably fly that outdoor with a lot more space. But this thing is so tiny, you can fly this thing pretty much anywhere. So this is second rate flying. We're gonna uh, fly this battery out. Should get a decent uh, amount of flight time with it. I think I got like, I'm gonna say seven minutes or so with the outdoor flight out. I'm not sure, six, seven minutes I wanna say with this little guy. Flies for a good long time. And I like the olive green body on it. It's got a unique color. It's got like an olive green color to it. And that white spotlight up front, guys, is definitely visible at nighttime and at daytime. This is a solid flyer for 20 bucks. I mean, you really, you really can't complain. Look at that. Right back to its altitude. Thing is nimble as heck. <clears throat> Excuse me. And it's so zippy, it just makes, it makes you want to fly it fast if you got some experience. And it's small profile as it is right now, and it folds up. You can stick this thing like in your shirt pocket, man. If you got like one of them, if you got one of them shirts on with the pocket on the shirt, you can stick this little thing right in there. It'll fit right in your little shirt pocket. That's how little this little thing is. I want to say folded up is probably about the size of a of a big lighter. <laughs> probably sm smaller. Look at it, man. This thing is awesome. It really is, man. I really can't say anything bad about it, guys. Look at this thing. 
super responsive. Christmas will be here before you know it, guys. This will be a good stocking stuffer right here. This is this is where it's at right here, man. A good learn to fly drone, especially for a kid or beginner, because they'll be able to open this up Christmas Day and be able to fly this right inside the living room and be able to enjoy their little drone, even if it was too cold outside. Or they could still take it outside if they wanted to, but as long as it's not too windy. But this thing is pretty... It's fast enough, it can handle a little bit of wind. Did I give you guys all up in your finesse, all up in your grill? All up in your grill? The VA 2080, baby, from Walmart? Huh? What? Yes. Getting it done. Trying to fly this battery out, guys. Excellent little mini drone, guys. Really is. All right, that's our battery there. We're flashing pretty good there. We're gonna bring it over here for a landing right on the uh, pad here. Bye ow! VA2080, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe, you boy, Drone the Dogs. Run out to Walmart, pick you one up. <laughs> Deuces.